Hey everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, so for this video, I am going to be unboxing and reviewing the 4K picture for my latest pickup that I got for the Terminator. Apologies for taking so long to get around to doing this video, folks, but if you're aware of my channel, you just have to know I wasn't very well last week and there was no way I was going to try and put a video together for this release. Thankfully, I am a hell of a lot better now. And more than happy now to finally review this one. Even though I have to admit, I had absolutely no intention of actually reviewing this movie on 4K. For a couple of reasons. Now I said this to a few people, I think it was around a week or two ago, I actually cancelled my order. Because I wasn't really in the mood to watch the Terminator. And it's only when someone said it to me that these steelbooks were selling out like crazy. I went back to Amazon and they were sold out, but around a day later they came back in stock. And I said, you know what, I'm not going to risk it, I should go to buy the copy now. So when I was unwell during the week, I decided to watch it. And I'm so, so happy I did. But look, I'll get more now into that very, very soon. Now, another reason to why I wasn't going to review it is because, I, I don't know about you, but I am sick and tired of this whole James Cameron thing when it comes to YouTube. I'm tired of people complaining uh, about James Cameron. And that was another reason to why I wasn't going to review it. It actually kind of reminded me, it took me back to when I reviewed Aliens, The Abyss, and uh, True Lies. I remember saying in those videos, I could not wait for that week to end. Not that the comment section was bad. Far from it. You know, you just have these people that are set in their ways. And I completely understand their arguments. I really, really do. The only problem I have is when they question why I enjoy them as much as I do. So when this got announced, I was kind of going, you know what, this is going to be more of the same. And the only reason to why I'm actually reviewing it on 4K is because around two weeks ago when I was putting out videos, I've noticed a lot of people in the comment section kept saying, can't wait for your Terminator review. So I just said to myself, okay, I suppose I'll do a 4K review of the Terminator, even though I had no, absolutely no intention of doing so. Yes, so this is for all of you, all of the people that requested it. So as you can see, I have opted for the Steelbook release. Like I said, apparently these are selling out like crazy. Now, there is a standard release that you can get that comes with a slipcover. Now, I don't know how true this is, but I was told this by uh, some friend of mine told me this. That apparently there was issue, uh, printing issues when it comes to some of those slipcovers. So apparently they're quite limited. So if you are interested in picking up that standard release, I would try and get one of those slipcovers. Because it sounds like once they're gone, they're going to be gone for good. So uh, yes, something to bear in mind if you are thinking about picking up uh, this release of the Terminator. Now, when it comes to special features on this release, I'll tell you one thing. For a movie that's first time on 4K, I thought we were going to get something truly special when it comes to special features. Unfortunately, not the case here. You get around maybe two or three featurettes. And I can tell you now, the longest one is around 13 minutes long. And then, of course, you get seven deleted scenes as well. I really thought we were going to get so much more. Uh, when it comes to this release, first time on 4K, it's absolutely crazy. Uh, such a shame, I kind of a missed opportunity there. Right, so I'm going to take us around this release. I'm not going to talk about the movie, folks, because, come on, we know what the Terminator is. It's such a wonderful James Cameron movie. As a matter of fact, it's still my favourite Terminator movie, believe it or not. I would put this ahead of T2. But it goes without saying, none of the sequels come remotely close to the first two. They're absolutely they're phenomenal masterpieces. Right, so I'm going to take us around this one, I'm going to show you what it looks like, and then I'm going to come back and review its 4K picture. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Right, so here we go, the Terminator. So there is a J card, I'm going to quickly bring it in and let you have a look at it. But as you can see on top, you've got the synopsis of the movie, you've got the special features there in the middle as well. And then, of course, down below is all your technical information. And it is your typical J card, it simply wraps around... Uh, the Steelbook. So uh, put that to a side, let's get on with the Steelbook itself. Now I know a lot of people out there weren't too crazy when it comes to the newly commissioned artwork on this one. I don't know what to tell you, is I really like it, I really do. Yeah, as you can see you've got the Terminator on the cover, you know the Endo Skull. You'll also notice Kyle Reese and Sarah Connor down below. Now I just wanted to quickly take the Steelbook in close for you. But you'll notice there in the background, I'm presuming that's the Terminator. But wow, you would need a magnifying glass to see him. Uh, he is quite small, <laughs> but uh, there's something with the color scheme on this uh, steelbook that I rather like. Uh, the, st the, the rating down below is a sticker, it can be removed. But it is when you kind of bend the light against it, when you start seeing all the detail 
on the endo skull. I think it looks, yeah, I think it looks fantastic. So uh, yeah, no complaints on my end. Lovely high gloss finish as well. So I will take his on to the spine of this one. And as you can see, that color scheme has continued onto the spine of it. And then right around to the back, and I have to say is when I first seen this, I, I actually thought it was the T1000. There's something about the the color of them. I don't know, it just kind of looked like them. But as you can see, it's clearly not. But uh, you'll notice then that color scheme has continued onto the back of the artwork. Again, I've said this when it comes to Warner Brothers Steelbooks. I wish they would just do a bit more in terms of artwork when it comes to the backs of the, backs of the Steelbooks. And of course, uh, they just have to put the credits there as well. But uh, it is one of those Steelbooks that forms one picture. Which I'll quickly show it to you. And there you have it. Yeah, I think it's a good looking steelbook. I really do. I'm very happy with it. So that's it in full. Uh, turn it around. And you've got your uh, 4K disc. And then, of course, you've got your very boring looking Blu-ray disc. And all that's left to show is the inside of the steelbook. And look at that. Absolute badass. So there you have it, folks. That is just a quick look at this lovely looking steelbook of the Terminator. Right, so onto the 4K transfer. I don't think you're going to be surprised by what I'm going to say here when it comes to this 4K transfer. It is absolutely stunning. It really, really is. And I'm not one bit surprised. I had so many friends go see it in the cinema. They were blown away by the 4K picture. And I'm not surprised that it's translated so well onto physical media as well. Now, the first thing I wanted to quickly address here is the grain structure on this one. It is there. It's very fine. Please don't tell me otherwise. The grain structure is beautifully, beautifully consistent. Other than a handful of scenes where I felt it was a little bit noisy. There's one scene in particular when, uh, when Schwarzenegger first arrives. You'll see there's a, bit, there's a bit of a wall there behind them. You'll notice that the wall has a bit of noise on it. But other than that, the grain structure I thought was quite fantastic on this one. Now, the implementation of Dolby Vision, I was a little bit concerned. Uh, one scene that stood out for me was when Linda Hamilton goes into work. She's driving the scooter, I think she is. And when I seen all that greenery, don't get me wrong, it was jaw-dropping. But it just looked like the Dolby Vision implementation just looked a bit overly aggressively used. And it just needed to dial it back slightly. Because the first thing that came into my head was, wow, if the greens looked like the way to do on this scene these outdoor scenes, what are those flames going to look like at the end when the truck explodes? Because it's one of my favourite scenes in the movie. And the last thing I want is for those flames to look very animated because the Dolby Vision has been aggressively used. Thankfully, that didn't happen. It's just more, more on the greenery that I've seen here. But I think when people see it, I think they're going to be blown away by it. So yes, some of those daytime outdoor scenes, I've never seen it look so vibrant like you do see it on this 4K disc. It's quite... It's quite striking at times. Now, in terms of fine detail, my God, where do I start? There's one scene right at the get-go. Like, they didn't waste any time with this one. Uh, when Schwarzenegger first arrives, there's a bit in it where the camera goes straight onto his face, right an up-close shot of Schwarzenegger's face. And I am not kidding you, folks. It's detail upon detail upon detail. I've never seen so much detail on someone's face before. It is ridiculous. It's pores inside pores. I am not kidding. That's how ridiculous it is. So yes, absolutely no issues when it comes to uh, DNR. Because as you know, if there was any DNR on this one, DNR scrubs away any kind of fine detail. But absolutely no issues here. Even Kyle Reese, when he first arrives, just look at the scars on his back. I have never seen them look so detailed. It stands out so much more now. And I have to tell you, this, the scars actually hold, hold up very well under the scrutiny of 4K. But yes, the fine detail on this one is absolutely extraordinary across the board. The only issue I had was the image is so unbelievably sharp now. And there's just so much detail to marvel at. That when you see those scenes at the end, those visual scenes, the kind of stop motion scenes. There is a huge, huge downgrade in picture quality but that's comes that comes to be expected that's all down to source material in, in the end but look i felt it was only right to talk about it the black levels on this one are extraordinary absolutely extraordinary so unbelievably deep but without losing any kind of detail either 
And then of course you got the increased shadow detail as well. And it makes so much of a difference here, folks. What can I say? It is an absolutely stellar 4K transfer. And I just can't see how people can have complaints with this one. I really can't. It's, uh, like I said, hands down the best the movie has ever looked. Now, you also get uh, a Dolby Atmos soundtrack with this one. And I was very, very impressed with it. Uh, any scene when it comes to the future war is handled masterfully. Uh, especially when you see a lot of the, the flying the crafts. The way that they kind of move inside that sound space with your overhead channels is absolutely seamless. Very, very convincing. Even that scene where Kyle Reese first arrives as well, you'll notice that there's a helicopter as well. And again, it flies inside that space above you. And uh, yes, very, very convincing. Now, uh, the rear channels are very active in this one. There's one scene that stands out for me. If, I don't know if you've noticed, but my rear speakers are right behind me. And there's a car chase scene in it where... Uh, yeah, they're being chased by Schwarzenegger and Schwarzenegger is shooting at them and I am not kidding You can hear those bullets whiz past your ears uh, One in particular scared the living shit out of me it did. It was very very convincing So yes, the rear channels are quite active on this one and you do get a nice sense of that low end bass as well Even though it is a little bit inconsistent like for instance when Schwarzenegger uh, kills the first Sarah Connor if you listen to the gunshots, it does pack a nice punch, those gunshots. But then when you hear Kyle Reese in the nightclub with his shotgun, it kind of lacks any kind of life. So there's a little bit of inconsistency there when it comes to gunshots and when it comes to them packing a punch. But other than that, I thought it was an absolutely fantastic Dolby Atmos soundtrack. Very active, incredibly immersive. What more can you ask for? So there you have it, folks. That is my review of The Terminator and, yeah... I couldn't be happier with the results here. It is a stunning looking 4K picture and the Dolby Atmos is equally as impressive. So there you have it folks. So as per usual, if you did like what you see here, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below and please do share your thoughts on this movie and what did you think of this release of it. And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.